All right, guys, I'm back on the bike. I've left Darwin and I'm heading up the steep hills to Valencia. I'm gonna be staying up here for the next few nights. My guide from Mount Tullinus, Jason, has invited me up to stay in the Nipa hut he has on his property here in Valencia. He's offered it to me for free and it looks like it has a great view and he's a super nice guy. So I'm heading up there now. When I get up there, I'm gonna be exploring a couple of waterfalls first ones I'm going to check out today are the most photographed waterfalls here on Negros, Casarodo Falls and original Casarodo Falls. And then tomorrow we'll head out on a big adventure with Jason to Lubas Falls, which you need a guide for. But today I'll be going solo to check out Casarodo Falls. Checked into my accommodation. Jason wasn't there. He's up at the waterfall entrance. He actually works up there, uh, cutting the grass and as a groundsman. And his family was a little bit uh, unsure of who I was, but they let me in regardless. Classic Filipino hospitality, just let a stranger in. Uh, so I stored my bike down there and now I'm walking up the last few hundred meters to the waterfall entrance. The ride up here was actually pretty steep. You can see I'm sweating, bandana is soaked. 760 meters of ascent over just 25 kilometers on the bike and it all came in the last little patch so pretty steep stuff now i'm just a few minutes away from starting my waterfall adventure for the day to casarodo falls <laughs> I've made it to the trailhead of Casarodo Falls. I'm here at the ticket office, but there's nobody here. It's still closed because of the pandemic, but you pay at the restaurant just a 20 peso entry fee, even though it's closed via the DENR. Here's the ticket office, and here's our trailhead to start. It takes about five minutes to make it down the stairs as you can hear from the noise behind me I've made it down to the river level there's the river there so now we're just gonna follow the river upstream to find Casarora Falls This short little waterfall hike definitely got a lot more adventurous after Typhoon Odette. A lot of the bridges and walkways and even some of the railing has been damaged. A lot of driftwood and rocks have moved. So you can definitely tell there was some carnage through this area. It seems I'm stuck on the wrong side of the river here. Whoa, also on a branch. But after breaking my ankle, trying to cross the river in Australia earlier this year, I'm gonna try and take the safe route rather than 
making a big jump across the rock, so I'm looking for a clear, safe passage. No more broken bones. There's no wonder why it's the most photographed waterfall on Negros. That was bloody epic. Super stoked I came out here. Now I'm going to try and head down to the original Casarora Falls, which seems to be about four or five hundred meters down river. I don't know if this is the trail, but it's definitely a trail. So I just need to follow the stream for about 400 meters. And there seems to be a bit of a trail here. Oh, it's stopped now. I'll find a way. Well, this isn't going well to original Casarora. I've just been caught like a fish trying to get down to the stream and I have just been snagged on a fishing hook that is now about an inch into my arm. Oh God, not sure how I'm going to get this out. Maybe I'll just carry it with me. God damn, this thing will not come out. I've taken the string off the line. I'm just going to carry myself back up to the trailhead like a caught fish and uh, seek some assistance because uh, this thing's wedged in more than an inch and it's got that uh, fish hook inside so I can't get it out. It's not very painful but uh, yeah, this hook is right in there. I'm going to call it a day on this second waterfall. I'm not exactly sure about the trail and now I'm caught like a fish so at least we got to see Casarora waterfall and now I guess I'll take you on my little adventure of getting this fish hook out of my arm. Okay guys, Jason has arrived. This was my guide from Talanis and uh, we're gonna head down to Valencia proper and see if we can't find a doctor who wants to rip out a fish hook from an Australian's arm. Two seconds ago the nurse said it's not in her expertise to give anesthesia but they were going to have to send me down to Dumaguete city and now she's had a change of heart and they're going to inject the anesthesia and try and uh, make a cut and pull the barb out. Not sure I'm so confident that she's got the expertise 10 seconds later but I like her courage. Okay change of plan we're heading to the hospital the ladies didn't want to rip it out, they were too scared. Why not this mask? So we're going in ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> it's an emergency, we've got the sirens on. Thanks for the ride guys. Made it down to Dumaguete Emergency Department. Uh, let's see what they have to say about fish hook in Australian arm. Okay. About this one, is it painful? No. No. I'm going to push the hook. I'm going to break this one, this part. Is it painful? No. no. Very good. That means the anesthesia is working. Great. Because this is very hard to to break because it's a very big hook. Yeah. Wait, huh? 
That's the idea, right? Yeah. <laughs> very bad for you. Oh shit. <laughs> this is a big tool. Very, very good boy. Yeah, we need to use the, <laughs> the break and the entry tool. Break in an entry tool. It's sharp and very very gahe. You know what's very gahe? I thought you were gonna have to cut the whole line. No, we don't do that. That is very inhumane. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried when you brought out the bolt cutters, yeah. my friend. I didn't know they had that in hospital. Yeah, I cannot break it because the hook is very big. That's how you steal a motorbike. Cut yeah. the <laughs> Well, that was very quick, very great service, and it was free. I don't know if that's normal, but he pulled it out, they did the anesthetic. Very quick, doctor was great, even brought out bolt cutters and had some jokes. So, first experience in uh, Philippines hospital, very, very good. Okay, we've made it back to Jason's family house and we're gonna head up the hill to the rest house. I won't be able to show you the views in this video, but tomorrow's video about Lubas Falls, you'll see the beautiful view from the rest house. Thank you, Jason for taking me to the hospital and dealing with my fishing hook debacle. Hope you guys enjoyed this adventure to Casaroro Falls. It continues tomorrow.